welcome back. So today I wanted to go over my spring essentials. It's a little bit nicer out today, so I was feeling inspired to get ready for spring. These are just some basic pieces that I always have in my wardrobe, pieces that I still have from last spring actually, so I know I'll be continuing to wear them for another season. Because they are just so versatile and so easy to build outfits around, they're just pieces that I gravitate towards when I'm not really sure what to wear. I am gonna show each piece on my body, but I probably won't style them all the way out. I am gonna do a spring lookbook very soon so stay tuned for that if you guys like these videos make sure to give them a thumbs up so i know and yeah let's just get right into it wow so i'm just gonna start out with something that you guys could see this coming miles away if you have followed my channel for a while but my first essential is definitely baggy boyfriend style jeans i wear these every season but last spring and summer i wore them endlessly i really like baggy jeans personally they just are comfortable they look good but also since they're like a little bit baggier for me i find that they're breezier they're not like so tight to your body that you're like sweating and then they get stuck to you um so for me they're especially more comfortable in spring and summer if i'm looking to actually wear a pant so you guys have seen these a million times they are Levi's 505's regular fit, and I believe that they, a regular fit straight leg, and the waist is a 32, and I cut the bottom. These are on their last end, or I'm just gonna have to get them patched because the butt on both pockets is worn through. If you're looking to find a pair, finding vintage is super easy um, and just buying them oversized. I'm not a 32 waist, but I would say the key is buying them big enough that they look like they're intentionally baggy, if that makes any sense. So not going just like one size up or like two sizes up, but like at least maybe like three, I would say, um, is what I always go for. Next, going into spring, I always like to have some kind of lightweight sweater because it's not summer yet. There are days that you kind of just want to have more coverage. This one has been my favorite um, since I got it. This is the brand is Sag Harbor and I just got it at the break, but you could easily thrift something like this or look on Depop, but it is just an oversized, um, super lightweight pink ribbed sweater. I wore this in the winter, but it's definitely more springy to me, especially the color wise. I think it'll be really nice. You could tuck this into like skirts, jean shorts, like anything like that. Next, I will go into shorts. So. I'm a big fan of kind of like cotton, breezy shorts. I used to wear jean shorts a bunch, I still do, but I think it's kind of nice to like switch it up with having like some breezier, longer shorts that are like comfy. I thrifted these right before I went to Panama and they're just super nice, super cute. I love the black and white checkered. The brand is Hot Cotton by Markwear. Pair them with a tighter top if you want. A frilly top you could pair them with a sweater they're just very very versatile I thrifted these a few months ago and my idea for this is probably to wear them like very high-waisted as they are um, with some kind of like bralette and then a blazer over top um, I think will be a really cool little spring look I think this pair was actually in my spring essentials last year but i'm gonna throw them in again because i did notice that the reformation brought this style back i forget the name of the style but i'll link it below these are probably one of my favorite pairs of pants i've ever bought they are so comfy quality is great i wore them so much last year and i am just in love with them i'm very much considering getting them in navy they're honestly just like the perfect pant for me they're really lightweight too which is great um and they are just kind of a tighter fit around the butt and then a wide leg throughout the rest of them. Um, so if you're interested in these, I will definitely link them below. And it's good to have like a pair of pants that's like a little bit lighter weight. It's not as heavy as denim um, because I like wearing pants still in the spring. Next, this is super easy. I know I've talked about this before, but having a nice like little nautical striped top always goes a long way with me. This one is white stag. 
you'd definitely find these thrifting depop but i think stripes are just classic timeless and they're nice to like kind of mix stripes with other prints too i think is really good um so sometimes i'll mix like a stripe with like a floral longer skirt or something like that so like i said with the shorts before um, I really like pairing a blazer and just like lightweight linen blazers are always my go-to in the spring um, because there's a lot of time that you want kind of like a lighter jacket and it's really nice to not be having to wear heavy jackets so um, I just have this checkered linen blazer the brand is requirements I thrifted this as well um, and I always kind of buy these a little bit oversized if you can imagine that you guys might have seen this in my most recent thrift haul but again it's just another um, kind of lighter weight checkered blazer um, and this one is nice with the colors I like the brown it's just a very classic looking blazer with shoulder pads this one's a little bit heavier weight, but definitely can still swing it. Like I said, with like shorts or a skirt underneath is a really nice look. But I also like the idea of bringing in like kind of the workman's trend into not necessarily a trend, but in winter I wore a lot of kind of like workwear and this jacket is amazing. This jacket is from Alana Cohn and I think it's just called their workwear jacket but i'll link it below if you guys are interested she is an amazing new york based designer and i just love all of her stuff if you guys are interested in like versatile like jumpsuits she makes the most amazing kind of like workwear jumpsuits that i could just see myself wearing every single day but again this jacket is just super easy to throw over shorts it's lightweight but still kind of warm so it's all around a good buy <laughs> So I'm just gonna get into the white and frilly section of this video. So again, linen is really nice. Linen also is a lot easier on the environment to produce than cotton. So I always try to buy linen when I can. This is just a top that I thrifted that is kind of oversized button down. And you guys have probably seen this in previous videos because I've had it for quite some time. But I would just say any like Breezy linen tops are really nice. Reformation does sell a lot of linen tops if you aren't able to find them thrifted. Also, I personally think it's really nice to have like a few kind of nicer tops in my wardrobe that are still comfortable. I recently bought this one off of Depop. I will link the seller below. She's really amazing and has such good stuff on there. But this is just a breezy little frilly um, top. So I would definitely go to this when I just want to look a little bit nicer but it's still really easy and you still don't have to try very hard and i am just really into the frillier tops right now i know you guys have probably seen them like everywhere but they are just really nice and add a kind of cute girly aspect to an outfit <music> lastly is a piece that i bought on depop but i've kind of been looking for something like this for a really long time and it is just again this beautiful floral embroidered dress um i got this on depop from quinn lake you guys have heard me talk about her depop before because she has so much good stuff on there and this is definitely a very vintage dress and i'm gonna wear it kind of oversized so it'll still be breezy but going into spring, I think just having longer kind of lightweight dresses are really nice as well. So you definitely don't need to buy one exactly like this. Um, but there are tons of just kind of breezy dresses that you can find thrifting or anywhere really. It's actually probably my favorite piece that I've gotten for so long. These are the kind of pieces that I just like want to fill my closet with and not just buy a bunch of random stuff, but pieces that I'm truly in love with. And this is definitely one of those. Lastly, I will go into just a few accessories. So I recently thrifted these, but they are just like a backless, like slingback pump in the brand Tallbox. Any kind of like low heeled pump I think is really nice or mule for spring. Um, I wear like relentlessly. They're really nice to wear with like some white socks underneath. I think it's always a cute little look. And yeah, I just wear them all the time. So these you will definitely see a bunch as long as they don't hurt my feet but wearing socks with that definitely kind of combats that if you're worried about comfort and lastly in most of my videos you see me wearing hoops all the time these are actually my roommate Isabel's but I kind of stole them from her for a very long time 
but our friend Andrea actually bought them for her at just like a little corner like side market in New York somewhere but you can definitely find similar ones like these on Depop or Laura Lombardi is a designer and she makes hoops that look almost identical to these. They are a little bit more expensive, but they are really nice quality from what I've heard. So you could definitely check her out if you're interested in a pair of hoops like these. So those are all of my spring basics. This was kind of a lot, but I wanted to make sure I gave you guys a lot of variation. If you guys enjoy these more fashion related videos, make sure to let me know in the comments and comment down below what you guys wear a lot in spring because I'm really interested to know. And I will see you so soon with another video.